Cuban President Miguel Diaz Canel is in Barbados for a two day official state visit. He arrived on Monday afternoon to much fanfare, and a short while later, Canel and Barbadian Prime Minister Mia Motley issued a joint statement announcing several areas of cooperation between the countries. One major development was the news that Cuba and Barbados would jointly work on developing medication to treat diabetic ulcers. My people here have heard me say over and over that Barbados is in the middle of a diabetes epidemic. And therefore, if I have to put on a priority list of 1 to 10, where this falls, this falls at 9.9. .9. Because this is going to make the difference in the lives of ordinary people in every single parish in this country. Barbados and Cuba are also set to cooperate in the area of sports, with the Eastern Caribbean nation pledging to send cricket and netball coaches, among others, to train Cubans in the disciplines. Motley also called for a better air and sea transportation network to facilitate tourism between the two countries, and exhorted the Barbadian Ministry of Education to speed up plans for a memorandum of understanding with Cuba to boost the teaching of Spanish in Barbadian classrooms. Motley also thanked her Cuban counterpart for the country's invaluable support in the field of medical care. For the last just over two years, Barbadians have benefited from more than a hundred nurses and Cuban doctors who have literally left their families at the most difficult of times so to do and to be present to be able to allow us to provide critical medical care to Barbadians. We talk often about diplomatic support and diplomatic cooperation. But I can think of no greater example since being an independent country of the level of commitment and sacrifice at a time when most would be running in the other direction. And therefore, I really do have to say, my brother, thank you. As Canel participated in the 8th CARICOM Cuba Summit on Tuesday, he may have heard similar sentiments from other regional leaders. Contingents of Cuban doctors and nurses have gone to St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada and other islands across the Caribbean, and have been doing so even pre-pandemic, buttressing falling personnel levels as local nursing staff leave in droves, seeking higher pay and better working conditions in better resourced facilities in wealthier countries. During the joint statement, Prime Minister Motley spoke of the need to develop an inter-regional trade mechanism that does not rely on the United States to facilitate. But we will proceed to see how quickly we can find a mechanism that will allow for greater inter-regional trade that does not depend on the United States of America and their shameful, shameful, shameful continued actions that lead to blockades. Speaking through a translator, President Canel also referenced the over 60-year-long blockade, thanking Barbados for its stalwart support. We are certain that the results of the tomorrow's summit will be satisfactory and will contribute to greater relations between Cuba and the Caribbean CARICOM countries. We thank Barbados for sustained support from 1966 and the report that Cuba presents annually to the UN um, Assembly to bring an end to the financial blockade against my country. Canel was in Barbados on Monday and Tuesday for bilateral meetings as well as to attend the 8th CARICOM Cuba Summit.